Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new beauty review that is going to be perfect for all you lip color lovers out there. It is for the new Smashbox Always Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This is exactly what they look like. They are super small and compact, have this really chic acrylic packaging, and it's really convenient because you can see the product right through, so you know exactly which color you're reaching for. I always love some kind of color indicator because when you own a lot of makeup, it's sometimes a pain in the butt to be sifting through like MAC lipsticks, for example, because they all look the same. It comes with a doe foot applicator, but this is another packaging piece that I really, really appreciate because the doe foot applicator, if you can see, is super pointed at the end. So they've done this on purpose for the reason that you technically don't need to use a lip liner when you're applying these. You can just use the tip as your lip liner and then go ahead and coat your entire lips with the doe foot applicator. It's a nice size so you get a lot of product onto your lips so you don't have to keep going in and out of the liquid lipstick. That's it for the packaging. These liquid lipsticks are marketed as eight hour long wearing lipsticks and the cool part is that Smashbox uses their primer oil inside this formula. So it's really nourishing, it's really comfortable on the lips, it almost moisturizes and treats your lips as you wear it, which is so unique. And if you are a liquid lipstick wearer, you know that Comfort and liquid lipsticks is kind of a hit or miss. Sometimes you're sacrificing comfort for the sake that it's going to stay on all day. So now that I've told you guys what it's supposed to do and what the company says, let me tell you what I really think about these liquid lipsticks. They are one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas thus far. That is a bold statement coming from me because if you watch any of my videos then you know Dose of Colors is like my ride or die. I still love Dose of Colors, that's still number one because it's kind of like my first true love for liquid lipsticks. These are amazing though. These are really lightweight but they're completely opaque. They have a similar moussey texture to the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks, so it makes it really easy to just let the colors kind of glide over the lips without them looking patchy. And another thing that I love about this line is that there are so many different colors. They have really funky colors, like the color I'm wearing right now, which is True Grit. It's like a deep, deep chocolate brown similar to Dose of Colors Chocolate Wasted, so if you have it already, you don't need to go get this one, but they have a gray, they have a lot of pretty nude shades, a lot of bright shades, so there's really something for everyone. So the first shade I have is called In Demand, and it's a really pretty peachy pink nude shade. The second shade I have is called Stepping Out, so that one is called Stepping Out. Next is Big Spender. Really pretty raspberry, more of a muted strawberry raspberry shade. Then I have this one, which is so cool. This is called Some Nerve. Oh, stop it. That shade is everything. That shade is gonna look amazing on everybody, but especially if you have my skin tone or deeper, it's gonna show up like a lot brighter, I feel, against the skin tone, and it's just gonna look so good. If you have tabloid from the Smashbox be legendary lipsticks this is the liquid lipstick version of tabloid and the last one i have is true grit it is what i have on my lips right now but i will go ahead and swatch it for you guys still so that right there is true grit it's a beautiful warmer brown it may look intimidating but because of the warmer undertones it will be super, super flattering on every skin tone. Here is my final take on these liquid lipsticks. 
go check them out. They are so good. If you are not a liquid lipstick person because you are averse to super matte drying formulas, go check these out because you get that long wearing liquid lipstick feel and look and effect, but they are so moisturizing. They feel like you have nothing on your lips. I have two words of caution for you guys. First, when you're applying these, apply them in a single layer, thin all over your lips. A lot of times liquid lipsticks and lip liners, depending on the formula, have a tendency to kind of build up. And when there's too much product, that's when you start getting like crusty and clumpy and it's just uncomfortable. So these I've not had that problem with yet, but make sure you're not adding layer on top of layer because then you may possibly run into that issue of it kind of crumbling up on your lips, which is never the goal. You can do touch-ups. I've done touch-ups like the inner part of my lips or around the edges and I have not had an issue with crumbling. If you are someone who that point is not going to be precise enough for you and you need a lip liner, you can totally line your lips with a matching lip liner and then fill it in with just the liquid lipstick. You don't need to use the lip liner all over your lips because these are opaque enough for that. Another word of caution I have is that be aware that some of the shades do dry down a little bit darker or differently, but I kind of like it because I feel like lipsticks that change on the lips or dry down deeper kind of naturally adjust to whoever's wearing it. I know that's not how it works, like it's not a mood ring, but I don't really have a problem with it drying down to a different color. So third tip or caution or just be aware, when you apply them, they don't dry down immediately. They do take a little bit, like these swatches, some areas are still a little bit shiny and damp. However, once they're completely dried, they will absolutely dry down to a full matte finish. Give it a little bit of time. In a way, it's nice though because you can really have time to work it and shape your lips without it getting like dry and crusty and then it gets patchy. Love these lipsticks. Go check them out. Smashbox, always matte liquid lipsticks. They're at Sephora and I love them. These are like Pokemon status for me. Gotta catch them all. That is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Leave a comment down below for me and let me know what you guys want to see from me next. But also a side note, if my makeup, hair, and clothing looks a little bit familiar to you guys, it's probably because it is. I just filmed my Becca with Jaclyn Hill Champagne Face Palette review. So if you missed it and you want to see pretty much a tutorial on my face makeup today, I will have that linked down below for you guys, so go check it out. But until my next video, thank you guys as always so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye guys! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Don't stop